The new nominee to head the FDA begs the question, what is the White House inhaling when it comes to tobacco policy? Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The Biden administration says it wants less cigarette smoking, but is going about it in a way that is utterly counterproductive. This perverse approach will be magnified by the president's new nominee to head the Food and Drug Administration, popularly known as the FDA. A few weeks ago, the White House was mulling a doubling of the federal cigarette tax. The problem, though, is that levies already imposed by all levels of government in this country are so high that a thriving market for bootleg cigarettes has resulted. Over 20 percent of smokes sold are illicit. Cigarette smuggling is a growth industry. Fortunately, at least for the moment, Democrats are dropping this self-defeating boost in cigarette levies. But they're making a ghastly public health mistake by pushing stupendous tax hikes on far less lethal tobacco products like snuff, snus, chewing tobacco, pipes and cigars. How big? Fifteen times or more than what they are now. Why in the world make safer alternatives to cigarettes so expensive? Worse, the president's proposed new FDA boss, Dr. Robert Califf, who headed the agency briefly in the closing months of the Obama presidency, wants to wage all-out war in e-cigarettes, even though vaping is 95 percent less damaging than cigarettes to users. In fact, public health authorities in other countries, like Britain and France, encourage vaping as a highly effective way to quit cigarettes. But Califf wants to ban all vaping products unless a would-be user gets a doctor's prescription to fight smoking. Talk about irrational thinking. Cigarettes can be bought over the counter by any adult. Yet e-cigarettes, which are only 5% as harmful and are a proven way for smokers to give up traditional smokes, are restricted, as if e-cigarettes are an opioid. The FDA also wants to prohibit the sale of menthol cigarettes and to force lower nicotine levels in cigarettes to non-addictive levels. Califf and the FDA can't grasp that nicotine is not the problem with regular cigarettes, it's all the other ingredients and chemicals that are the killers. After all, Washington hasn't banned anti-smoking aids such as nicotine patches and gums. Califf unfortunately is of the mindset of those fanatics over 100 years ago who wielded hatchets to smash up saloons in their crusade to stop the sale of liquor. The most notorious of these zealots was Carrie Nation. Robert Califf, with his Carrie Nation disposition, should not be confirmed as boss of the FDA. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.